veggies. This book is written by Megan Lacera and Jorge Lacera, illustrated by Jorge Lacera. Moro Mero is a zombie who loves growing, cooking, and eating vegetables. But his parents insist that their niño eat only zombie cuisine. Let's see what's gonna happen. Oh, look at this. Competitive brain eating contest. Number one, wow, someone won a trophy. Oh, they must be really good. Oh, that's a zombie, isn't it? Oh my, let's see. Mo was a zombie with a deep, dark craving. It was dreadful, devious, absolutely despicable. I wonder what it was. Ooh, look at this graveyard. Doesn't this look spooky? It gives us a scared kind of feeling, doesn't it? I mean, that's the intent here, right? When we see peligro means danger, Sarah Bellum. That's her graveyard over here. That's her gravestone, right? Oh, one more time. Mm. Mo loved to eat vegetables. He grew all kinds of veggies in his hidden garden. And then in his secret kitchen, he crafted celery, tomatoes, and carrots into delicioso meals that he devoured with delight. Delicioso. Doesn't that remind you of an English word? Delicioso? Look at the spelling. Can you make a connection between this word and another word in English? Mm hmm. I thought you might. Delicious. Delicioso. See that? Mo's mom and dad did not love vegetables. Not one bit. Veggies were yucky, disgusting, chaosco. They were not allowed at the Romero dinner table. Ready to chase some humans in the marathon next week, mijo? Oh, oh they want to chase the humans. Zombies were supposed to eat zombie cuisine like brain cakes, brain stew, and brain and bean tortillas. Most parents insisted that their niño eat only zombie food. Finger foods, mi amor? Ew, gracias, I'm not hungry. Thank you, right? Mi amor means my love. Spanish people, they use these words, mi amor, to tell someone how much they care, you know? It's beautiful. Mo tried to convince his mom and dad to give peas a chance. He sneaked in vegetables whenever he could. But Mo's attempts were fruitless. His parents wanted him to accept who he was, a zombie, and zombies don't eat veggies. Uh, look at him, he's trying hard, Eating Vegetables by Jonathan Safran Gore, head of lettuce. Huh? Mo knew he didn't like zombie cuisine, and he couldn't imagine letting go of spinach or cucumbers or kale forever. If zombies are only supposed to eat zombie cuisine, Mo started to wonder if maybe he wasn't a zombie after all. Day after day, Mo wondered how he could make his parents understand his love of veggies. His tomatoes were tantalizing, his cucumbers crispy, the peppers perfection, and add onions, some garlic, a touch of cilantro, and Gaspacho! Holy aioli! Mo had an idea. His best one yet! Gaspacho! Well, you know, gaspacho is a kind of a cold summer soup. Delicious. 
Mo grabbed his book of recipes. His fingers flew across the pages until he found it. The recipe for a tomato and veggie filled soup. He was sure the tomatoes would make it look bloody and gloopy, just like a zombie dish. His parents were going to devour it. Mo chopped and diced, blended and pureed, perfected and poured. Finally, the soup was finished. Mo carefully shuffled it over to the house for dinner, where he found a feast fit for a zombie. Mo, you're just in time. Try some arm panadas, mi amor. Prime cuts? Mira, I made the spicy mayonnaise. Pickle tongue? Arroz con spleens? Famoso chile con ojos? Doritos for the pain? Arm panadas? Uh oh, poor Mo. Do you think his parents are now going to try his gazpacho? I made something for you to try too. It's called the blood bile bisque. Bon appetit. Give it five brains. Smells strange. Looks delightful. Cinco brains must be delicioso. They dug in. Mo is ecstatic. He's so happy. Look at him and look at his dad. Whoa, he's pouring the gazpacho all the way in. Mo closed his eyes and sucked in his breath. This was it. They would savor the soup. They would ask for mass. Mo imagined breakfast, lunches, dinners, snacks, all vegetables, raw, cooked, steamed, and fried forever and ever. He saw all his dreams coming true until, uh oh, until Mo's parents did not like the soup, not one bit. Dios mio, this soup tastes like, like, like vegetables. Yuck! Mo's heart sank to his toes. His plan was a bust. Oh, poor Mo. How many times do we have to tell you that zombies do not eat veggies? Well, maybe other zombies don't eat vegetables, but I do. Mom and Dad, I'm different. But I'm still me, Maurizio Romero, your Nino, your Mo. Mo reminded his parents that he liked the chasing humans as they ran in marathons. And he promised he would always cheer for Dad during championship brain-eating competitions. He also loved doing the zombie shuffle under the moonlight with mom. He was a zombie, a Romero. He just liked to eat vegetables. Most parents loved their son and finally accepted that it was okay to be different. They even promised Mo they would eat more veggies for him, but only a teeny tiny bit. Fried fiddlehead furs, artichokes heart and elbow macaroni, patacones, uh, oh, ears of corn with dead sea salt and butter. Mm -hmm. Be still my hearts of palm chopped salad. <gasps> Yum! The Romeros knew that most zombies don't eat veggies, but they were more than zombies. They were a family. Mercado de la Familia Romero. And here is a recipe for gazpacho.
aka the blood vial bisque or it really is a summer soup refreshing and delicious what do you think are you a zombie do you like eating vegetables oh or do you like to eat brains yuck the end ah we have more recipes look at this the romero family's famous chocomole <laughs> and zombie finger foods that looks delicious enjoy and if you make those recipes let me know how they turned out you know i bet it's gonna be delicious look at this avocado tomatoes garlic onions cucumber of course it's gonna be delicious yum